project with Kenny is a special project. Not only is he an amazing guitar player, he's a special friend. So to work on this record, Return, it's been an unbelievable experience. You know, to really understand this record, you've got to know the man, Kenny. We all know he's an amazing guitar player. I mean, that's, that's without question. You can just listen to him for a minute and know that. He's a true man of integrity and a true friend. And that translates to the music. There's an honesty about this music, a realness, a richness that's so often faked or lost in, in modern music. And this record, Return, it has that realness and that richness. You know, Kenny and I worked so much in the studio together that I can really, he, he talks to me with his guitar. We don't have to, we don't have to speak words very much. It's, it's a musical language. He'll play a lick or a riff and, and I'll catch on to where he's going and he'll, he'll follow a certain motif or a certain scale or a certain set of notes and, and we'll elaborate and I'll record little snippets and play them back to him and, and I'll talk to him with the tape and with what he's played and he'll play something else and then he'll expand on it. It's, it's really a give and take. It's I give to him and he gives back to me and I'll record little pieces along the way and play them back and it's a, it's a system that we've accidentally stumbled on that just works. When Kenny was planning this album and trying to figure out what songs would be great to do for this second solo album of his, he went and he asked um, people at workshops and at concerts, what do you want to hear? Because Kenny wants to really relate and give to the players and community out there what they want to hear. And overwhelmingly, Kenny said that he heard people consistently saying, we want it we want you to take old fiddle songs and put a new twist on them. That's what we want to hear. And so that's, that's what Kenny did. What do you think about Auburn Haney today? Uh, it was Merry Christmas to Kenny today, and it was uh, awesome. You know, Aubrey brought an honesty to this project that, that I didn't see coming. I mean, I know yeah, everyone knows he's a great player. It wasn't about that as much as the heart and soul that came in, the tone, the preparedness. It's great to hear an album with uh, playing, playing a lot of tunes that we, you know, me and Kenny's probably jammed before playing some of these tunes at festivals and stuff, some of the same tunes. So it's a good fiddle tune kind of record, you know, and it's good to hear his version, uh, how he puts little different accents on, on some of the good old tune, good old fiddle tunes, you know. Me and Aubrey's been on some projects together, but I've never had him in the studio, and uh, it was just great, man. It just, I don't know, I felt like the tunes came to life today, you know, and went to another direction. It really complemented Kenny's playing as a guitar player. So together, along with the other musicians, of course, they gave even some of the old songs that are on the album a totally new feel. They really played parts that are not for the, the weak of heart. I'm a little sore. <laughs> no, no, it's really good. I love fiddle music, and uh, I love Aubrey's playing. I mean, just hands down, I love his stuff. The very guitars used in the recording of this record are historical in themselves. Kenny and I discussed having some really special things on this record, and part of that was try to obtain Norman Blake's guitar. And that's, you know, Kenny always looked up to him and studied his works, and when it came time to actually record, Kenny was fortunate enough to locate it. Bought it December the 9th, 1987. I've owned it quite a while at this point, but it's a great guitar, and it's a privilege to let Kenny Smith use it in his recordings. Awesome. I hope he enjoys it. <laughs> it's a 33 shaded top, D28, that just sounds unbelievably amazing. It had such richness and tone, we had to capture it the right way, so I chose to use some Telefunken mics that captured it with clarity and detail and a natural naturalness that I think comes through on the recording. Kenny said he wanted to cut Jesus Loves Me and I thought it was an awesome idea and he grabbed the shaded top and I put him in the booth and I just turned the tape on and let him go.
captured a really special moment with that beautiful guitar and his beautiful playing. It's, uh, it's a special guitar, and to be able to use that guitar on this project meant so much to Kenny and I. And it really became a member of the cast. All the guitars did. Kenny's, Kenny's 35, the uh, Gibson Advanced Jumbo. That, that guitar is just has a projection that's got to be heard to be believed, and you'll hear it on this record. These guitars were such a vital part of the recording, so we felt that it was worthy to make a big deal about them did a whole separate photo shoot for them and really wanted to capture the uniqueness of each individual guitar. Here we are four or five months later after we started tracking the record to it's mastered, it's done, the graphics are done, um, it's, it's at the plant. I'm excited for you guys to listen to it, to hear it, uh, to hear the friendship that's part of the music, to hear the history it's part of the music. A special group of guitars with a special group of guys and a dear friend, Kenny Smith. It's called Return for a Reason. It's a return of a lot of things. This project will stand the test of time. It'll, it'll last beyond our lifetimes. People will be studying it long after Kenny and I are gone. And I'm just excited to have been a part of it. Mm -hmm.